All right, center guard Pat Elfline. We're going to start the first pick of the third round. 65 Cleveland, 66 San Francisco, 67 Chicago, 68 Jacksonville, 69 Rams, 70 Jets, 71 Chargers, 72 New England, 73 Cincinnati, 74 Baltimore, 75 Buffalo, 76 New Orleans, 77 Arizona, 78 Baltimore, 79 Minnesota. Woo! Got a little interesting there. Which pick were you going for? The second Baltimore pick. 79? Yeah. That's what it was. I, I was going for Baltimore. 74 was Baltimore, and then 78 was Baltimore. 78 is what I was ringing on, was it? Same. Same? Okay, I'll let you go, because I rang it more than you. I don't know if Pat Elfline is the best center in the draft. He, maybe he's not. I love a guy who I, I am pretty certain can play center or can play guard in the NFL, and I think that kind of versatility sort of can't be overlooked. He's not the most athletic guy in the world. He's not the most flashy offensive lineman. Maybe this is a little too high for him. Good guy, captain. I know he's solid. I don't know if he's Pro Bowl level, but he's going to be a starting offensive lineman in the NFL, so I think I'm here. He's kind of like Raekwon McMillan, right? A little bit. He's kind of like you're going to get the same type of sturdiness. You know what you're going to get out of him. He's a captain. Everything you just said I completely agree with. And I think that the versatility of being able to be moved around on the offensive line and the fact that he was able to adapt to that quickly when he made that change in college speaks really well for him. Um, yeah, I just think that if you're going to get a starter in the middle of the third round that you might have on your team for eight to ten years, that that is a pretty good value pick. See, I don't think he is Raquan McMillan, because and this is in your wheelhouse. A little bit of this comes into that he was a three-star recruit. Raquan McMillan was a five-star recruit whose people are questioning his athleticism a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pat Elfline is a really good football player. I think he's a three-star athlete, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's offensive. He worked his butt off to be as good as he is. A guy like Billy Price, I think, is going to be a better athlete for the NFL when he goes to the draft next year. That holds me back on Elfline a little bit. There's are plenty of great linemen who are smart and physical, and he's both of those for sure. You can see all the tape of him hitting guys and blocking them and finishing plays. I have a little bit of a question about his athletic ability that would make me wait a little bit, and I've seen Ohio State centers go later than people expected, so I, I just waited, and I was probably going to let you guys know. I ate dinner with an NFL scout who was absolutely in love with Pat Elfline and Billy Price, and the way that he put it, he thought that they were very similar, and I think it's easy to fall into that because they're doing similar things, of course, with Price returning to move from guard to center. But he said that both of those guys are guys that I think can start in this league for 8 to 10 years. Very solid. They're not going to knock you off with your athleticism, but I think that they're going to be exactly what you think you're going to get when you're going to get them. And I think in the third round, if you can get a bona fide starter, and a guy who did win the award, whether he is the best center or not, he beat out all those other five-star offensive linemen, I think that's a tremendous value pick at that spot. Corey Lindsley wound up as a starting center in the NFL out of Ohio State. was a fifth-round pick.